Hello everyone, my name is Simran and I am going to teach you mathematics, ok? So students, in the last class we have just started the exercise number 1.2. We have done the properties of subtraction and addition of integers and we have done the examples of exercise number 1.2 also. So today we are doing the questions of exercise number 1.2. So let's start. First question. Write down a pair of integers whose sum is minus 7, okay? In the example, we have also done these things, okay? So today, just try to do it by your own, okay? The sum is minus 7, pair of integers whose sum is minus 7. So let's see. A part, the pair of integers whose sum, okay? Pair of integer whose sum is equals to minus 7. What is it? Just think now. If we are taking minus 3 and minus 4. Minus 3 plus minus minus 4 is equal to minus 7. So minus 7. Okay. So the pair of integers we can take minus 3 and minus 4. Okay students. So this is the pair. You can clearly see. Minus 3 and minus 4 is the pair, okay? So, this was all about this part, okay? So, now students will discuss the second part. Difference is minus 10, okay? You have to write a pair of integers whose difference is minus 10. Pair of integers, okay? Pair of integers. If I am taking like 10 and 20, 10 and 20. 10 minus 20 is equals to minus 10. Why? Because the larger number is 20 and the sign before 20 should be the sign of answer. Okay. So the difference is minus 10. Clearly we can see that 10 and 20 is a pair of integer whose difference is minus 10. Okay students. So this was your part 2. Now we will see the part C. Part C, sum is 0. Very simple. What are? In this, you are asked that write a pair of integer whose sum is 0. 4 and minus 4. Okay. You can clearly write minus 5 and 5. Minus 5 plus 5 is equals to 0. Okay. You can also do it like 3 and minus 3. 3 plus minus 3 is equals to 3 minus 3. 0. Okay, students? So, this was all about part C. Okay? So, next we are discussing about question 2. Question 2 says, first part, write a pair of integers, negative integer whose difference gives 8. Okay? You have to write a pair of negative integers. Okay? Whose difference means you have to write a pair of integers, difference of the pair of integer is 8. And one thing is also mentioned that the pair is of negative integers, okay? So, you have to make it clear to your head that both the integers are negative integers, okay? So, what is it? Just, just think in your mind, right? If I am considering it 2 and if I am considering it 10, students, minus 10, then minus 2 minus minus plus 10 is equals to 8. So, the pair of integers is minus 2 and minus 10. Okay. Minus 2 minus minus 10 is equals to 8. Okay. So, the pair of negative integer whose difference gives 8 is this. This is the example and you can write as many pairs of integers as you want. Okay. So, minus 2 minus minus 10 is equals to 8. Because minus minus is plus, so minus 2 plus 10 is equals to 8. Okay. So, let's move to the second part. Second part, B part, which is write a negative integer and a positive integer. Now, the condition is one negative integer and a positive integer whose sum is minus 5. So, in between there is a sum and the result is minus 5 and the condition is one pair should be a negative integer. One integer should be negative and another should be positive. Okay. 
so what are the operation that are giving us minus 5 so students if i'm taking minus 10 and if i'm taking it 5 so minus 10 plus 5 is equals to minus 5 right because the larger number is 10 okay so the answer will also contain the sign with 10 okay so minus 10 plus 5 is equals to minus 5 all right students so the pair of integer is minus 10 and 5 okay so this is your answer all right students so now we'll discuss the c part c part write a negative integer and a positive integer whose difference is minus 3 okay we have to write the difference is minus 3 okay and first should be a negative and second should be a positive integer okay in this it's clear that we have to do the subtraction here okay so minus 1 and 2 minus 1 minus plus minus 2 is equals to minus 3 so the pair of integer is minus 1 and 2 all right students so this is the answer of this part okay so now we'll discuss the another question question 3 says in a quiz team a scored minus 40 10 and 0 and team b scored 10 0 and minus 40 in three successive rounds okay so these are the scores of these two teams the scores are basically same but reshuffled okay which team scored more okay you have to find out which team scored more can we say that we can add the integers in any order you have to find out this thing firstly we'll find out the total of team a team a is total in three consecutive rounds minus 40 plus 10 plus 0 so minus 40 plus 10 plus 0 minus 40 plus 10 is equals to minus 30 okay so team a's total is minus 30 okay so next we'll find the total of team b team b is scoring 10 0 and minus 40 so 10 plus 0 plus minus is minus 40 10 plus 0 is equals to 10 10 minus 40 is equals to minus 30 okay so students we can clearly see that the scores of team a and team b are same so this which team scored more is nothing okay the both teams are scoring the same so team a and team b scores the same okay so this is the first part answer second part can we say that we can add the integers in any order just go to your next class okay just remember that what i have to told you okay we have discussed that we can add the integers in any order commutative property under addition okay so yes we can add integers in any order so this is the answer for this question all right students so let's move to the another question next question says fill in the blanks to make the following statements true okay basically this question is concerned with the properties okay properties that we have discussed in the last lecture properties of exercise 1.2 that is properties of addition and subtraction of integers okay like we have discussed closure under addition and subtraction commutative property associative property additive, additive identity and additive inverse okay so basically let's see the question first part is minus 5 plus minus 8 is equals to minus 8 plus dash just remember commutative property we can add two integers in any order okay so if this is a plus b then it is equal to b plus a okay so if this is a 
if this is b then is equals to b plus a so this should be the answer okay minus 5 should be the answer and this property is concerned with commutative property under addition all right students what is this second part 53 plus dash is equals to minus 53 minus 53 plus what is equals to minus 53 additive identity zero when added to any integer gives the integer in itself okay so this is additive identity okay additive identity all right students now 17 plus dash is equals to 0 what should be added with 17 to get 0 we can have the addition with minus 17 right 17 minus 17 is equals to 0 so this property is concerned with additive inverse okay all right students the next part 13 plus minus 12 plus what is equals to 13 plus minus 12 plus minus 7 the missing thing is 13 is here 13 is here minus 12 is here minus 12 is here so what is missing minus 7 this property is concerned with the associative property all right students so this is associative property because in associative property we have discussed that a plus b plus c is equals to a plus b plus c all right students so this was the property this is a same clearly na a plus b this is the close bracket plus this c all right and this is equal to this particular thing a is different and the brackets contain b and c okay so this is associative property okay so let's see the last part Minus four plus fifteen plus minus three is equals to minus four plus fifteen plus dash. Same property. This question is concerned with the same associative property. Minus four is here. Minus four is here. Fifteen is here. Fifteen is here. So the thing that is left is minus three. All right, students. So this was all about exercise number one point two. So we have completed the exercise number one point two today. Okay. So in the next class we'll discuss about exercise number 1.3 okay till then do practice at your home bye bye